Coming up this time on This Is True Really News, I will tell you about the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. Please. What? The, I'll get to it. Okay. Please like, subscribe, and follow This Is True Really News if you haven't already. If you have already, please talk to your friends and neighbors. Share a video with somebody or on your page. <laughs> you know, do something decent for somebody else for once in your rotten life. I look back. I look back. For once in your rotten life. Thank you. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. Well, my neck of the woods, if you don't mind. Go right ahead. A rather strange sequence of events for one woman near Sartell. Minnesota. Yes, it is. Okay. Sartell PD called the County Road 1 for a tuber that was struggling against current late one night on the river. A potato. No, no, trying no. to swim against the river. You know what? In Minnesota, it's a popular thing. You hop in an inflated inner tube, grab beer, put that in an inner tube. Oh, oh off okay. you go down the water. I thought you meant tuber, the delicious vegetables when you add you know, salt, and pepper and butter. A, f- and, uh, <laughs> a friend who had arrived to pick her up witnessed the woman get swept away out of sight. So the missing woman called her friend and rescuers were able to triangulate her location to a steep bank where she was tied up in the thick underbrush. She was rescued. However, deputies from the Stearns County Sheriff's Office. And you know how those clowns are. Discovered the woman was actually wanted on felony warrants in Benton and Sherburne counties to adjacent areas. She was taken to the Stearns County Jail for processing. (laughs) So she was rescued. And sort of. (laughs) Woman jailed for tubing mishap. Due to tubing mishap. Where do you put that in the scale of one to stupid? I mean, I'm. Well, you certainly don't want to attract attention. (laughs) So you go get yourself hung up in the weeds. There you go. Okay. (sighs) Well, let's go from that to this idiocy. Okay. Uh, Really, I think companies and extremist groups need to hire guys like you and me um, to to help them. So when they name themselves, they don't, you know, give themselves, you know, come off sounding stupid, right? Well, you know, give themselves initials that everybody can make fun of and laugh at you. It's part of the joy of this, but okay. Enter the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. You heard that right. M I L F. They're a Filipino Islamist extremist group. And. In the newspapers, the headlines are fantastic. MILF won't give up men. MILF braces for FAP offensive. (laughs) MILF invites Pope. (laughs) And finally, yeah. Kazali Jafar, MILF commander. You got an army of them? I was thinking at least a squadron. I just saw the Bones episode where they had the MILF cruises. It was actually the Cougar cruises. Same oh. sort of thing, only in reverse. Yeah, but I'm getting the idea there just ain't a lot of uh, MILFs in MILF. They are an Islamist group. Well, and. Oh, and that, Boy. That's, that's not a don't go there. Don't, don't go there. I just no. didn't mean to. No, no, I didn't. I didn't want to paint with too broad a brush there. So you I'll can't. shut up now. <laughs> In Japan, people apparently don't want their weakest link to become a part of a chain. That's why people often avoid joining a new company. Some people, however, find that sweet spot where they can do just enough work not to get fired. Okay. So, um, well, <clears throat> a company, the ever popular consulting company, Shikagaku, sure, interviewed 300 employees at over 300 companies and asked, this is what they picked one of each, 
They picked 300 employees at over 300 companies and asked them if they knew of any old guys who don't work. Now, the interviewing involved folks from the age of 20 to 39. Okay. So old guys could be anyone, you know, late 40 40s. or older. No, no. Yeah. So when the young employees were asked if there was anyone older who was always just sitting around doing nothing, half of them said, oh, yeah. Really? I can imagine. I, actually, I can't imagine that. It's Japan. They're industrious. They, well, that's the image you have of Jap the Japanese work. But apparently not all of them. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. That, of course, since about half said, uh-huh, the next question would be, what were they doing? Majority of answers fall into three options. The most popular being uh, they took too many smoke breaks. Uh -huh. One of my favorites. The second answer was they were just staring into space. Another one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And the third revealed that they spent their time with idle chatter. Wow, that's my top three. The odd part is I wouldn't have guessed it because I would have thought, and it came in fourth, browsing the internet all day would have been the biggie. There you go, but apparently it's not. No, well, you know, they're old 40 or over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bleep that out, yeah. Shikagaku asked respondents their thoughts on understanding why these older guys have chosen to be lazy. Not one of them had my answer. The most common theory for respondents, 45%, said they thought they simply had no motivation to, or desire to work. I guess that would be mine, too. Other, okay, reasons, yeah. <laughs> other reasons included complaints that companies did not provide enough incentives or a stick to or a stick to encourage those men to work harder. So it's carrot and stick kind of thing. Yeah, right. They recommended that the company should review employees more often and that there are more transparent policies around grounds for dismissal. Wow. Hardcore little rascals. <laughs> These people are a threat to the workplace, said 90% of the respondents. Wow. Well, I know I, I'm always a little cheesed off when I'm busting my butt and the other guy is not. Yeah, and yet you still put up with me. So there we are. Have for years. <laughs> I, apparently, I've gotten used to you. You're the kind of parasite I like. 59 per, and penicillin won't get rid of me. Apparently not. 59% said that having these people around the place lowers morale. 49% claim that their workload increases. Well, mm -hmm. duh, somebody's got to do it, you idiot. Right. And 35.3% claim that they are just a burden to the office and a waste of salary. Mm. I will have you know, you are correct on all of those. And bite me, you overworked weasels. <laughs> Recently, hey. <laughs> Some mechanical engineers at Rice University in Texas uh -oh. were, were moving stuff around in the lab. And they noticed a curled up spider at the edge of the hallway. Was it a red and black spider with blue underwear? No. Uh -huh. Rice graduate student Faye Yap explained, we were really curious as to why spiders curl up after they die. Quick search online found the answer. The electric Google machine told them because their legs are controlled by blood being pumped into them. And when they die, they lose the ability to pressurize their bodies. Wowzers. They're like an airplane. So, yeah. In a weird way. I'd like to see an airplane fly like this. Right. Yeah. But think of it. If the airplane died, landing gears were like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> <Thump, thump, thump. laughs> At the time, we were thinking, oh, this is super interesting. We wanted to find a way to leverage this mechanism. So they pumped the spider cadavers with air to get their legs to unfurl. Oh, no. And then grip various objects. They made them into itty bitty cranes. Or weird marionettes. The necrobot, as it's called, <sighs> can perform a thousand open and close. <laughs> Open and close cycles before its joints start to wear out. According to the university, uh, engineers believe they could last longer with a polymer coating. Mechanical engineers, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It happens to be the case that the spider after it's deceased is the perfect architecture for small scale, naturally derived grippers. According to Daniel Preston. Yeah. They used dead wolf spiders. 
they were able to lift more than 130% their own body weight and sometimes much more. They used the grippers to manipulate a circuit board, move objects, and even lift another spider. <laughs> and this guy has even more ideas. Pick and place tasks we could look into, repetitive tasks like sorting or moving objects around at these small scales. And maybe even things like assembly of microelectronics. Oh, boy. I understand now why Sheldon ridiculed Howard so often. <laughs> I cannot wait. Yeah, you can. This is True Really News. Send email to TITR at netradio.network. <laughs>